I just got through talking to Deborah and Michael Hutchinson, yep. and we're in year number six of Salute to Heroes. Yes, and you talk with some of the scholarship recipients, too. Some very nice young ladies there. Yeah, and, a, and, one, and we had one gal that has been um, back a couple of times now. She's doing very well, a senior at Baylor. Yes, that's a good place to go, and, and I know that the uh, this foundation helped her, helped her out a whole lot. A whole lot. We've got a lot of dignitaries here tonight, and, you know, Ann Hacker, Black yep. Rose Steel. Yep. It's all great, and it's all happening here in the Bay Area. Oh, and of course, you got all these folks here that are making it all happen for everybody. It's a, it's a very, it's a really big, uh, it's a big event. I mean, just a couple of years ago, they they didn't take up half the space here, so they're doing really well. It's a great event. It really is. So make sure you watch our video and look at the photos and put this one on your calendar for next year. Absolutely. We'll see you around. Okay, Eddie and I are out here at the South Shore Harbor Resort, and we're out here for the Salute to Heroes. What year is this, Deborah? This is our sixth year. Wow. I'm with Deborah and Michael Hutchinson and their son, Lee. Uh, we are going to be in talking to some of the young recipients of the scholarships because of this fundraiser, and I wanted to just, first of all, get a little bit of background about the uh, foundation. I can tell you that it is an honor to be a part of this to help these young people and get to know them and the foundation in Ray Joseph's name has been a blessing for many people, especially for us as parents and I think for Leandrew as his brother. Yeah, it, 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 it is very special. Now, Michael, first of all, I wanted to ask you, uh, did you have anything else to add about the foundation? Well, the foundation, of course, was, <clears throat> was set up to issue scholarships in Ray Joseph's name. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was just a collection of lunch money from the kids. His friends actually started this, but as it grew, we needed to make it more formal, so we started uh, an official 501c3 foundation about four years ago. Now, what do the kids have to do, or these young adults have to do, to actually qualify for this scholarship? This is not an academic scholarship. We are not looking for the kids in the top ten. Ray Joseph made a difference in everything he did throughout his life, and so we're looking for kids that are making a difference. And very simply, what you have to do is be able to get into college, first of all, uh -huh. and then we ask you to go out and read Ray Joseph's story so you get an idea of why we're doing this, and then write, write a little paper of, of a couple of paragraphs, a couple of pages about what you're doing that is similar to Ray Joseph and that you're making a difference in the lives of others. And we are getting just some incredible, incredible kids. I can imagine. I mean, I, I know that I've seen a couple of them a few times here. So, Lee Andrew, tell me, what has this made a difference in your life with this foundation over the last five years or six years now? Six years. Really, the, the, biggest, the biggest impact this has had on me is watching the impact it's had on my parents, uh, giving them something, something very constructive and healthy to focus on uh, and, and put their time and energy into. It's been very rewarding to watch them uh, as, the, as the foundation has grown. He's a wonderful son. He really is. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Okay, we've got a couple of this year's scholarship recipients. Why don't you introduce yourself? I'm Haley Mystery, and I'm a senior at Baylor University. Perfect. And yourself? I'm Shannon Mattis, and I'm a freshman at University of Houston. Now I'm going to ask you a tough question. What was your essay about once you read about Ray Joseph? Um, wow. That was in 2007, and I wrote my essay about how um, Ray Joseph's legacy has per in it's it's inspired me to pursue a career in medicine and just give back to others just as he did. Perfect career to do that. Perfect. What about you? Um, my essay was about how all the teachers at Creek, I know a lot of his former teachers are still there actually, and I talked to them about it before I wrote my essay and I included him in it, and just how he gave back and how I might become a teacher and give back as well. So is that your career plan to become mm -hmm. a teacher? Hopefully, yes. <laughs> Great. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. Thank you.